hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope i'm meeting all of you in the best of health all right today is the part seven the last uh episode of our calculation series our formulation series thank you so much thank you so much for those of you that have been on this journey all through with me i really appreciate it i don't take your support for granted new subscribers welcome 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 old subscribers i really appreciate you guys thank you thank you thank you all right today's uh, formulation calculation is on preservatives mm -hmm. preservatives okay now um from inception we all know that oils and water don't blend <laughs> they don't they're not com they don't come together like they would not be compatible along the lines they must grow mold yeah <laughs> bacteria or fungal infection whichever one finds its way into the mixture but as formulator an aspiring formulator a new formulator or just someone who is interested in learning more about formulations would know that formulators have a way of putting oil and water together but meanwhile you need preservative to preserve your product but if you are based in a place where you have constant light you can actually skip the preservative but put it in the fridge which for me that's kind of uncomfortable you know if you're if a little for commercial purposes you're sending your products around the world or around your country or around your state you cannot keep telling everybody to put their um, products in the fridge like someone like me that are based in nigeria i probably will get spoiled because um, we do our light um here is very very poor but meanwhile everything is at ease when you have preservatives i have um a video i'll link in the description area where i spoke about preservative like here in nigeria we have access to some preservatives um an example of one of such preservatives i use personally is the phenos the ethanol mm -hmm. is the phenos the ethanol is a broad um spectrum um preservative what i mean by broad spectrum it has a wide range of activity yes it could actually um work at um, a certain temperature at as high as about 85 degrees celsius it could also work at a ph range of about th three to ten so that's a very good choice of preservative for your skincare or hair care um, products especially hydros like what i mean by hydros especially water-based uh, 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 uh products they cannot go without preservative oil based is okay you can do it without or butters fine but whatever formulation you're adding water into it must follow with preservative now the usage rate of phenols the ethanol The usage percentage rate, to be specific, is about 0.5 to 1%. But let me tell, add something for you quickly. Hmm? There are some special formulations you will make. Yes, I call them special in the sense that those formulations are made with the intention of adding other ingredients into them. And an example of such uh, ingredients is the base cream. Yes. I have a video where I made um, a base cream from the scratch. Now, in that base cream, I worked with preservative at about 1.5. Yes, percent. Now, let me tell you why I had to add the 0.5. The reason I did that was because that base cream is prepared for the intention of making other formulations out of that same base cream. And in those formulations, there will be addition of water. There will be addition of oils. There will be addition of um, granules, especially when you're formulating a body scrub or a face scrub from that same base cream. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? So some people can even go as far as adding it at 2%. Yes, because sometimes when you're not sure of the credibility of your preservative or you realize that your preservative is not as active as you are expected to be then obviously you have to go a little bit overboard but if you're working with good preservatives credible preservative that's why it's very important to know where you buy your ingredients it's very very important because the credibility of your ingredient determines the product you're going to produce out of those ingredients so it's very important for you to go for good quality ingredients so this is it here now um 
a product like let's example a face toner that i am making it and i'm not adding any other thing like whatever i'm putting in that face toner is what it is and at the end of the day i drop my preservative now i would gladly work with my preservative at the usage rate of at least one percent yes the maximum i prefer to work with the maximum you know at the end of the day so now let's go into the calculation itself to get the usage rate now let's say we're making a face toner of about 50 grams and our preservative of choice was the phenos the ethanol right and as i said earlier your preservative um is, is usually the last like i like to add it last at the end of the my of my, of my formulation to be honest with you so um the first toner is about 50 grams and i want to add preservative of about one percent usage rate so we go this way one all over 100 times 50 are you seeing now this one zero here can cancel this one zero this five can go here one this five can go here two now we're left with one over two which is equivalent to 1.5 grams now your usage rate of your preservative of choice would be 1.5 grams in a quantity of a way of a toner of about I'm sorry in a weight of about 550 grams of your face toner have i communicated here you will need about 1.5 grams but meanwhile there's some um preservatives that, as i told you earlier are not as um wide spectrum as um phenos the ethanol example is like the optifen the optifen is not as active as phenol is the ethanol so probably if you're using it for a, a face toner of this same kind of um, weight you might want to consider going for it for about 1.5 so at the end of the day i'm this person that always tells my students or whomever that wants to listen study your ingredients it's very very important study your ingredients so thank you so much for being with me till this time i really appreciate it thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my video if you can share it too as well if you can let's go viral come on all right thank you so much and see you in another video bye